Hi, I'm Leanne Sparr, and in this section we're going to be talking about checking accounts and check registers. We will be covering the following objectives. We will identify the parts of a check. We will know the types of checking accounts. We will calculate the monthly service charge. We will identify the parts of a deposit slip. We will identify the parts of a check stub. And we will complete the parts of a check register. Let us begin with a few definitions. Personal checking accounts are used by individuals. The bank supplies printed checks, normally charging a check printing fee for the customer to use. Some banks offer the checking account at no charge to the customer, but most require that a minimum monthly balance remain in the checking account. If the minimum balance is not maintained during any month, a service charge is applied to the account. A flat fee checking account has a fixed charge per month for the services. There's often interest paid on checking account balances. A business checking account often receives more services than personal accounts. Many banks provide ATM cards. ATM cards are like debit cards, not credit cards. When you use your debit card at a point of sale terminal, the amount of your purchase is instantly subtracted from your bank account and credit is given to the seller's bank account. When you use a credit card, you usually sign a receipt. However, when using a debit card, you enter your personal identification number, called a PIN, your special code that authorizes the transaction. We also have electronic funds transfer, in which funds are transferred without checks, and we also have internet banking, banking from home. Now let's look at an example in which we're going to calculate the monthly service charge. For this particular bank, the maintenance charge per month is $12 and the per check charge is 20 cents per check if your average balance is less than $500. If your average balance is between $500 and $1,999, the maintenance charge per month is $7.50 and the per check charge is 20 cents. If your average balance is between $2,000 and $4,999, then the maintenance charge per month is $5 and the per check charge is 10 cents. If your average balance is $5,000 or more, the maintenance charge per month is zero and your per check charge is zero. So we look at Mower Shack, which had 76 checks in a particular month and their average balance was $468. So we see the maintenance charge for Mower Shack was $12 because their balance was less than $500 and they also had to pay 20 cents per check for 76 checks. So the per check charge was 20 cents per check times 76 checks. So the service charge turned out to be $12 plus 20 cents times 76 is $15.20 for a total service charge of $27.20. Now we will look at deposit slips and check deposits. Here's an example of a deposit slip. A deposit slip is used when placing money into the bank. You can see that we have the name of the depositor, the date, and we fill in the value of the bills, the coins, the checks, and the total deposit. When we deposit checks, we can endorse them in various ways. We have the restricted endorsement that limits who is allowed to cash a check. It usually includes the words for deposit only. 
we have a blank endorsement in which only the name of the person being paid is signed, and we have a special endorsement which is used to pass a check along to someone else. Once a check is cashed, it goes through a procedure called processing in which the check is routed through the bank. The check is then canceled and it's returned to the payer. Now let's complete a check stub. We have the following record of a check that Corinne Berman received October 15th for rent in the amount of $850. The balance brought forward was $2,973.09. The amount deposited was $1,853.24. So let's complete the check stub. The date is October 15th. The amount is $850. It's to Corinne Berman. And it's for rent. The balance brought forward was $2,973.09. The amount deposited is added in $1,800. $53.24, we will add, the total is $4,826.33. The amount of this check is $850, which we will subtract from the total, which gives us a result of $3,900. $76 and 33 cents. Now let's complete a check register. We have a balance of $1,629.86. We're going to subtract the check $250.45 to obtain $1,379.41. We're going to subtract the $149 check to obtain $1,230.41. We had a void check. Now we made a deposit. We're going to add the deposit of $117.73 to obtain $1,348.14. We're going to subtract the $69.80 check to obtain $1,278.34. We're now going to add in the $329.86 deposit, which is $1,608.20. Then we're going to add in the $418.30 deposit to obtain $2,026 and 50 cents. Then we're going to subtract $109.76, which gives us $1,916.74. We're going to subtract $614.12 check, leaving us $1,302.62. We're going to subtract the check for $32.18 leaving us with $1,270.44. And then we're going to add in $520.95 deposit, leaving us with a balance of $1,791.39. In this section, we have talked about checking accounts and check registers, certainly a real-life application that you will be performing in the future. So now it's time for you to go and practice some exercises on your own.